hope that this video finds you well and in excellent spirits. My name is Mel and welcome to my channel, Divine Feminine Works. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Today we're doing the July 2020 Taroscope for the sign of Aries. That's Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, or North Node. All right, so let's get into it and see what messages Spirit has for you this month. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node for July 2020. Oh my gosh. We have patience. And I said oh my gosh because almost every sign has gotten this card this month. Huge message for everybody. All right. This is for Aries for July 2020. We've got relationship change. And we've got adventure. All right, Aries. So right off the bat, it looks like spirit is saying you need to have patience because a relationship that's close to you is changing and it's changing in a good way because it's like you're, you're starting out a new cycle and it's going to be like an adventure. I mean, between you and your other fire sign brethren. Leo and Sag, y'all love a good adventure, especially you Aries, because you have such uh you have such like a spark of energy to start things. Aries is a cardinal sign, and cardinal signs are all about initiation. So I feel like you in particular are really gonna enjoy this energy because you're starting something new and it's a complete adventure. But spirit is asking you to have patience. So we're gonna look into this further and see why that is. All right. Let's get one on patience. All right. Oh, that's too many. Sorry. <laughs> Perfect. All right. We've got judgment. And we've got the nine of pentacles. All right. So what I'm hearing is that this could be, hold on, I have to sneeze. Okay, no, I don't. <laughs> Sorry. This could be a relationship that is reappearing or that's restarting after you've been single for a minute. So what I'm hearing is that you've been doing your thing, you've been bad all by yourself, you've been independent, you've been, you know, abundant, and it's like all of a sudden there's going to be this re-earthing, <laughs> this unearthing of a relationship that you thought was dead and buried. All right, let's get some cards on this relationship change. All right, we've got the sun. Let's get another one here. All right. And we've got the two of cups. And we've got the two of swords. All right. So when it comes to this change, it's ultimately for the better. I feel like this time around, if you choose to engage in this relationship again, I feel like this time around, it's going to be a lot more positive. You guys are going to see eye to eye and there isn't going to be this level of indecisiveness. I feel like last go around, someone couldn't make up their mind about something and it was, it was preventing the relationship from moving forward. I feel like you got tired of waiting. You got tired of um, standing around and hoping that this person made up their mind. So I feel like you left. Because again, at this time, I see you just like being single, being abundant, doing what you want to do, enjoying life on your own terms. So I'm feeling like it was probably you that left. <laughs> and you left for a good reason. But again, if you... 
if this if, if this resonates with you and you've got a relationship that's coming back around this time around it has the potential to be better and it's interesting this makes perfect sense because um currently we still have mercury retrograde and for those of you that know mercury retrograde a lot of times is about exes coming back but not just that I mean, there are four or five other planets that are retrograde right now. So this whole time period between now and really the end of the year, it's going to be a lot of things resurfacing in order to figure out if it's meant to be in your life or not. And at least so far, what it's looking like is that this particular relationship that comes back around is looking pretty good. So let's get one on adventure. We've got the nine of wands. Let's get another one. And we've got the Page of Swords. All right. So again, it's this new adventure that you are embarking on as it relates to this relationship. And I feel like <laughs> what Spirit is saying is that this person is a little apprehensive of communicating with you and, and reaching back out to you because you're very guarded. You're very guarded and it's almost like they're scared. They're scared of rejection. So I feel like they've been checking you out from afar. They've either been checking out your profiles on social media. They might have even been checking up with you, um, you know, driving by your house or frequenting spots that you used to go to in hopes of seeing you. Also, what I'm getting is that when this person does re-emerge they're showing uh, it's like they're showing up as like a page a page of swords so it's almost like it's like little communication so it's going to be like a text message or an email they're not going to full out just come and see you or you know bear their heart and soul to you it's going to be some little communication to get things moving which is not a bad thing all right, so let's get one on Judgment and Nine of Pentacles. Judgment and Nine of Pentacles. Oh, that's too many. Get one. Oops, there we go. We've got thoughts. So yeah, this person's been thinking about you for a minute. If you look, see there's that picture of the woman on the easel, right? Like doesn't necessarily mean that the person who's been doing the thinking is, you know, a man. Could be, but either way, one of you has been thinking a lot about the other. A lot, a lot, a lot. All right, let's get one on the sun, two of cups, and two of swords. Oh, that's too many over here. All right, but we'll take this one. We have sudden wealth. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get money. What this means is that suddenly it's going to change for the better. So again, if this person was really indecisive before, when they're coming, they're coming back knowing that they really want to be with you. They're not seeing anybody else. They are like set on you. And y'all can see eye to eye. So it's going to be a very beneficial relationship this time around. Let's get one on the Nine of Wands and the Page of Swords. Unexpected income. So weird. Between the Sudden Wealth card and this card, all, like a majority of the signs have been getting these cards this month. Yeah, I feel like this person's going to reach out to you unexpectedly. They're either going to give you like a compliment or they might give you like a little gift. But I feel like it's like words that make you feel good. <laughs> They're going to come back telling you like some unexpected shit that you really you were nowhere near expecting to hear. Sweet nothings in your ear is what I'm hearing from spirit. All right, let's get one on thoughts. All right, 
right we've got temperance so again spirit is asking you to have patience at this time because this is going to take some time and it's like spirit is cooking it up <laughs> spirit is working on this behind the scenes if it's it could be your guardian angels that are putting this together so spirit is like all right i need you to be patient because we're working on this for you and then we've got the ace of swords remember when i said that you know this person in the past was very indecisive they didn't know which way they wanted to go they might have had more than one option they couldn't make up their mind this time around they're coming back and they know exactly where they want to be they want to be with you they want to have a relationship with you they want there to be open communication they're they're willing to tell you the truth although they're not going to tell you everything up front i feel like they're gonna hit you up via text message or email tell you oh i saw you over here you were looking good or you know give you some sort of compliment and then they're going to um take it from there and over time i feel like they're going to be upfront with you maybe about what happened in the past but more so than anything else they're just they just know where they want to be and they want to be with you all right and so yes this new adventure is them uh coming at you with their cup of love with the knight of cups here like they're willing to be open emotionally to have this new relationship with you and they're gonna come with the love offers um so that's what you can expect aries your task for this month if you choose to accept it is to be patient when it comes to your love life because spirit is cooking up something good for you someone from the past could be re-emerging and they're re-emerging better than ever it's not the same indecisive wishy-washy energy that they had before they are coming back ready to be with you and only you they're going to shower you with compliments and they're really going to uh offer you their cup of love um, they're a little hesitant because they feel like you may be guarded, especially given what transpired in the past. But all in all, this seems good. Um, but again, you have free will. So you can choose to accept this new offer or not. It's up to you. But either way, you're in a great position this month. So let's get one last card to close out this reading for you, Aries, for July 2020. Card here. There we go. And what's this last message that Spirit has for you? Hmm. Not for you. <laughs> All right. That seems almost contradictory to what I just said. But actually, no, it's not because I said you have free will. You have free will to turn this down if you want to and it's interesting i don't know if you can see it but it's like a little fortune cookie in the middle and it says nope <laughs> so yeah for some of you you are not going to entertain this person at all it's not for you you moved on you like your independence it might have really rubbed you the wrong way that this person was wishy-washy and indecisive before so for some of you it's really not for you you're going to turn this down but for others of you, it could definitely work out. So it could really go either way, Aries. And that's for, that's ultimately a great position to be in because you, you have options. On the one hand, you can do bad all by yourself. You can be independent and still be happy. On the other hand, if you accept this love offer from a past lover, it's actually going to be better than it was before. So either way, you are sitting pretty this month, Aries. That's all that matters. All right, so that's been your reading for this month. I hope you were able to get at least something out of this reading. I hope at least one message resonated with you. If so, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you'll always be notified when I come out with new content. All right, I will see you in my next reading. Talk to you soon. Bye.